Good morning, Beauty Vlog fans. So today I found out I have 109 subscribers. Thanks very much. I left my hair like this. I don't wash it every day when I have a shower because I had a shower earlier. And I don't wash my hair every day, but I decided to keep it straight today. So, um, what I'll be talking about today... My friend wrote a book, but I'm not going to say who it is because she doesn't want me to. So, just to FYI. Um, where was it? To find it. Her name. So this is chapter one, all of this, and I'm going to read some of it. If I mess up on a word, I'm sorry. Really good writer, I told her. Chapter one, everything about death feels like drowning. Of course, drowning is a form of dying, so that is since it's only practical, but when reversed, to the therapy of less logic and more speci specialized, I think, I don't know. No, nope, not specialized. Spicof spiculture and the culturation doesn't make you you untrue though. When I was seven, I almost drowned. My family went off for a summer getaway of the coast. It was my first time at the beach. A large wave knocked me over, and the tibra riptide pulled me under. It's strange, but the first thing you do is close your eyes, as it's doing, so you make it look all disappearing. When you hold your breath, your heart begins to race panically raised as your hair airway contract until you open your mouth and let the water fill your lungs. It hurts even even when it's over and you're lying on your back in a wet sand on the shore and young lifeguard leans over chest heaving as he were the one who almost drowned. It hurts everywhere in your heart your lungs and your throat and your head, it's an ache that consumes you, the lingering death is the same, Here, perhaps it's backwards though, the ache comes first, numbing and also Syrian, then coming, the actual drowning begins to pull under, suffocating and trapped, then everything comes the part where you close your eyes and hold your breath and wish it went all away. I'm not finished yet. When your brother, when my brother Aaron died, that's how I felt. I remember standing in his funeral. Everything about death feels like drowning. Of course, drowning is a form. I thought I was there. Okay, back here. When my Andrew, when my brother Aaron died. That's how I felt. I remember standing in his funeral under my father's umbrella, the healing of the fat settling, sinking into the soft ground, unable to breathe. Even the facts before me, I couldn't bring myself to expect the reality of it. I, started, I stared at my brother's casket, chest tight, and could not think. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. Oh, why is that? Good? It's just tape, if you're wondering what that is. don't know why I was doing that. They say things get easier with the time. Truth it is, though, the tear just stopped. The feeling, the helplessness that stayed forever. It never gets easier. It's just ling lingering, drowning you. No way to catch your breath. I felt like this now. As I let my fingers trail through along the edge of my frame, photo of my brother, it was small and sat on my bookshelf. 
right beside my science book textbooks. I sell it every day, but today was the day I really stopped and let glaze lingering on it. Aaron had Aaron oh was a big Aaron was big smiling in a picture, dimples cutting deep in his cheek. He had inherit the same looks good looks like my father oily skin baby blue eyes long lashes and a chunk chunkiness to cheekiness to him that charmed any lady who walked by him he was popular he was always had been sometimes i hate that about him he's popular made him reckless and recklessness got him killed okay this is really deep but really good if maybe if she ever comes out with the book maybe I'll do um, an interview with her as if she'll let me you are you sh you sure are going to be that here my roommate Pete Peyton asked her voice made me blink and I let my arms fall right back to my side turning to look at her she stood near the door hands on her suitcase. You sure you're good? She asked again. Yeah, I shook my head to clear my thoughts. No, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Just getting the airport. Just get to the airport already. Would you if you missed your flight on the account of me? It got time. Peyton's smile was bright, carefree. The stress from the last week final, finally shade. Don't worry about me. Peyton, while a roomie assigned roommate, she had become one of my best friends over the course of the school year. We just clicked. She was one of my few, very few at college that I had about Aaron and told about Aaron in the day that I scientific. Okay. It was I. I knew the reason she was. Hesitant now, it was a week I told her, sitting down in my dash chair, as I was rubbing my hands nervously over my legs. I'll be fine. I'm sure I can do it myself. Busy for a long time. Well, I, I got you something to help you through the struggling off her backpack from the with, withdrew a bottle of vodka, screaming when, smirking when your eyes meet. As your friend, I really do have, I'm sure that you'll have a great time without me. I don't know if she wants me to read it all, but it's going to take too long to read all. But I just wanted to read a little bit of it. Really good book. She's a really good writer. One of my, one of my best friends that I have. Because she helped me through, like, last year before she moved, so. Not gonna say no names, but really good. So yeah, give this a thumbs up, and I'll be back to another with another video. If I don't upload, I will try to upload. I'm not sure about Friday yet. I'll try to upload. Maybe I'll do a video Thursday and then upload it, and hopefully it uploads. So yeah. Right now, my cheeks look puffy. I don't know if you can tell, but my cheeks look puffy because these there's two wisdom teeth I have here. I, my dentist said I have three, but nothing's coming up here. I don't have four. I don't. I only have three, but I only see two right now. So I might be going. There might be a video on that in January. See, I have a dentist for my cavities, but there might be a trip, and then I'll take all the contact that people video me. So yeah, like my hair like this, a lot of people say, oh, you look nice, you look older, like with your hair shorter, but I like my hair longer, so I just left it today, so I'll have another shower Thursday and I'll wash my hair, it's just not greasy. So yeah, give us a thumbs up, I'm hoping my special guest will be here soon, and I'll be mailing the two shirts out that the two subscribers told me about, that one. I will be getting a YouTube shirt soon, just... Try and I get 109 just trying to help myself like with my woodworking trying to tell more people about my woodworking trying to tell more people about my crafts and my YouTube 
in my photography. I actually have to still do that. I actually have someone. And if you know anyone that has an i, I have an iPhone case I'm trying to sell, so I'll probably put it on Facebook swap. Because I thought a, f a guy that was is graduating this year, I thought he wanted it, but I guess he didn't. And he just told me that, like, the other day, this week, or last week. I said it would have been nice if he told me, told me a little bit earlier, but I guess not. So yeah, give us a thumbs up, soon I'll be doing a room tour, might actually move my bed over where it was when I, in the summertime, but I like it here, but I'm not sure yet, I do like it here too, but I don't know, can't believe I went to my YouTube channel, looked on my page, and I have 109 so far, so it's getting good, so soon I'll be able to to do that. So yeah, let I'll be doing some more videos here soon. It's just this is just a new video that I want to come out with about books. So maybe if you're a writer and you want me to read it, just send me it on my Facebook or um, Instagram. Just send me the messages and I'll start reading the chapter and hopefully it'll come out and maybe I can do a uh, some interviews with some people like face to face on the video with me and stuff so yeah give us a thumbs up and I'll be back tomorrow with another video peace